So now when your purpose and your end game are aligned, when you shoot those arrows and you've got all your targets lined up behind that one arrow, then the energy that you have is not being spent and spent and wearing, <laughs> wearing yourself out and right. dying. The energy that you're giving is landing and contributing and mattering yes. and loving and thriving. Welcome back, Envisionaries, to the Dream Into Being podcast, where mind science, transformational psychology, and magic all merge into one. If you're ready to dream again and transcend the inertia of what you've known, then I invite you to join me, your host and Envisioneer, Kat Divine, in expanding the boundaries of your own fantasia by remembering that you are the master you've been waiting for. So I do want to speak to that because it reminds me of something that happened, let's say back in 2018. That was so, it's one of my favorite memories because it, it was like a mile marker for both of us to really ask ourselves some bigger questions. So my audience already knows if you've been following me back in 2018, I had a really big spiritual awakening that just completely shuffled loose everything that I wasn't. I went through a great purge and I ended up moving out into the woods for about six weeks and living in a tent. And it was so great because at that time, you and I really got a chance to connect a lot. I think we were on the phone almost every day and you were one of the few humans that I had interaction with at that time because I was very protective of my energy going through that letting go process. But I remember one day and you were in, you were kind of in a transformation cycle of your life. But at that time period, there was some transitions. And I know that you were temporarily working in a job that was, you know, just a job. And you would call me from the road, taking like, I think an hour and a half commute in California, LA traffic to get to and from this uh, thing that you didn't have much passion around, but it gave us a great opportunity to connect with the fingerprint of probably so many people that are probably listening to this right now of being trapped in that cycle, again, of giving our life force energy to something that we just don't care about, but because we're so programmed to do so, it's a really big challenge for people to let go of. And when I was out in the woods, I was asking myself a lot of big, big questions. And I had, I remembered asking you one day, something along the lines of, can you imagine what it would feel like to wake up and do everything that you want to do and live your dreams and fulfill your purpose? And something was so maybe like a old pattern or trigger or something came up for you that it was like an, an abrupt ending to the conversation. <laughs> and I just was like, Oh gosh, what happened? I don't, I don't know what happened, but I guess we'll talk tomorrow. <laughs> but if you can just share with everybody what your experience was, because I think what you're about to share is a lifeline. It is something that my gut is telling me is happening to thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of people right now that they're at that, they're at that point, that decision point. And just to be able to hear your story, I think could actually change their story. So if you don't mind sharing what that experience was for you. If I could give a voice to the emotion that I felt when you asked me that question. The voice would say that dreaming hurts. Yeah. And 
pursuing your purpose um, can have a very painful ending. Yeah. And I don't do that anymore. Right. That's probably the energy that I was communicating to you. I and saying. I mean, you were just like, Hey, magical sister, what, you know, imagine if you could do all this. And I had gotten to enough places where I put everything into creating the thing yeah. and not having the end game and having the thing end and having not only the thing end, having relationships end mm -hmm. that either were in my life because they believed that my job was to make their dreams a reality. Mm -hmm. And if the team didn't have the ending that the team wanted, and I take credit, I take full responsibility, I didn't know what the end was that I wanted. Right. We just all wanted the thing, right? And then when the thing happened and then we didn't all live happily ever after, it hurt bad and yeah. lives were changed, especially mine. And I got to a point where I just was like, okay, God, I'm just going to lay everything down because anything that I do have to show for it is not anything that other than on paper or in a portfolio is not anything that is making my heart feel happy and fulfilled. And could I keep pushing the boulder up the mountain and hmm. finish the contract? And then that was it. And it wouldn't unanimously, everyone wouldn't want to take the next step, including myself. It was an opportunity to decide if we needed to even continue in life together. Yeah. And so I've had, yeah, at least two major milestones in my life where relationships and realities and projects all crumbled simultaneously because they were all interwoven. Right. Had I not had those experiences, I would not be the trustworthy media coach that I am today. I coach more than media. I, if you haven't figured that out. Right. However, the, the gift that I can give to you is to help you get media ready so that you can live and fulfill with confidence, with clarity, your calling. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to purpose. Somehow I identified that dream and purpose were one and the same. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I'm here to say we can have multiple dreams. Mm -hmm. You've had multiple dreams. I've had multiple dreams. We have been incredibly successful at making, creating, and killing those dreams. Yeah. Okay. Something in me believed that every dream that died meant that my purpose oh. died with it. Wow. But the reality is that my purpose is the only thing that really makes any of those dreams matter. Mm -hmm. If I had a line, so I talk about creating for the end game. So that's assuming that you know what you're calling and your purpose <laughs> is. Yeah. Once you know that, then it's about what are we creating so that there's a sustainable outcome mm -hmm. that includes the dream. Okay. 
However, if you don't know what your purpose and your calling is yet, then you may need to pursue and chase and create a few dreams. Great. Or you discover it. Totally. Sometimes those dreams will tell you, hmm, (laughs) being a local QVC shopping girl in the Southwest is not your end game. <laughs> yeah. Selling appliances is really not your end game. Right. It's had nothing to do with my purpose. However, what I learned as a result of coaching people through getting camera ready, getting image ready, getting uh, brand ready, all those things that I needed to do for all the show hosts and all the people that created with me mm-hmm. that are now available in Legacy Maker Academy. What I also do now is begin with the purpose and the calling Mm -hmm. so that when you have, as a creator, multiple visions and multiple expressions and multiple hats and ways that you define who you are, you have an opportunity to decide, are those dreams or raindrops or facets that are going to create a a rainbow? Hmm. Or are they the rain? So when you identify your calling or your purpose or your project's purpose, project meaning dreams purpose, once you identify what that is, then everything else can be built beyond that. Like, I don't know, like, if today I would be super thrilled waking up and, and um, still doing some of those things that were those big dreams before. Mm-hmm. I would probably have graduated by now, right. likely, and or created a sustainable system that would allow others to, to mm-hmm. perpetuate it and for me and my team to benefit from it and for the community to continue to benefit from it. Mm. However, I finally got to a point where I was like, oof, dreams hurt. Dead dreams hurt even more. And I've got really good at creating them and killing them. And until I know what the heck I am doing, I'm not going to make, I'm not raising my hand for one more. No. I would have been happy at that time in my life getting a job at Starbucks and going to the beach and gathering seashells and making necklaces and living happily ever for after. We talked about that. (laughs) Ever having to pick up another dream again. I remember. Yeah. So what makes a dream worth it? And what makes a dream worth sustaining? Legacy worthy. Celeb worthy. It's not celebrity worthy. I'm not about helping you become a celebrity and you probably hear like, you know, we're going to brand you. We're going to, whoever that we is, that's wanting your energy and resources and wanting to tell you that trust your dreams in their hands, Mm -hmm. unless they're asking you to slow down so that you can win your race. Mm -hmm to dig into what it is, what are your driving natural abilities and your driving natural aspirations? What's your DNA? And then from your DNA, what's your true north? So Mm -hmm. even if you don't know your exact purpose, you at least know the direction and you at least know that it's fulfilling things that are already driving you and bringing you joy know the purpose. So get purpose ready is the first module in my my coursework in Legacy Maker Academy, getting purpose ready. Because then once you know your purpose, then you know that in five years from now, 10 years from now, 15 years from now, there's still going to be a part of you because your DNA is in it that's going to delight in its continued existence. Mm -hmm. And you're going to deeply care about the results that you create for those that you serve Mm -hmm. 
because those that you serve are going to now become mirror reflections back to you of what you were made to do, what you were called to be, who God made you uniquely to be. And there's nothing more beautiful than and satisfying than when our driving natural abilities and aspirations are fueled by a continual knowing that you're on course and that you're serving and that the people that you serve deeply matter. That's, those are the ingredients mm -hmm. that you need to be a legacy maker, to leave something that's lasting, to look back at the, the dreams and go, they didn't die. They just had a beginning, middle and end. And because they weren't aligned with either my calling or they weren't aligned with the, the end game because I didn't create or design one. So now when your purpose and your end game are aligned, when you shoot those arrows and you've got all your targets lined up behind that one arrow, then the energy that you have is not being spent and spent and wearing, <laughs> wearing yourself out and right. dying. The energy that you're giving is landing and contributing and mattering yes. and loving and thriving. Thank you.